Peace and love, Curry gang. Well, the night and day talk media. This your host, J.R. Curry. And man, I wanted to get into something real quick that came across my, uh, you know, my feed on Instagram. If y'all remember the woman Sloan, you know, I don't know if she's like some type of fortune teller or some type of, you know what I mean, person that, you know, that can, you know, so-called see the future or whatever. She the one that actually predicted that Diddy will get, start facing you know them sexual assault charges and stuff like that back when uh um like before it happened like maybe uh a year before it happened and she was predicting that you know the kim porter thing that happened that he was going basically you know that was going to be his downfall for the for the kim porter situation and and all that so now i want to matter of fact let's get into this video quick of sloan just to refresh your memory of her um predicting the diddy thing um if y'all want to watch the full interview with her y'all can go to sloan's uh sloan bella's uh youtube channel and watch the full video so let's get into this real quick this is so like crazy i am being shown november of 2023 so her death date was november 15th of 2018 but i'm being shown november of 2023 I don't think we're done with this. I feel she's shaking her head yes before she stare at me. Then she wait and now she's shaking her head yes. I am being shown that things are being prepared. She is showing me a trumpet. People are standing straight up and there are people going to speak. Not just about what happened to her, about other things. Something is unraveling. And we know that to be true because a lot of people came out recently about Diddy from 2023 um, and going into 2024, you know what I'm saying? And we still, and things are still coming out about Diddy. We know that the Meek Mill situation came out, the, the Little Rod situation where, you know, he implemented Diddy into some, you know, weird things and, you know, and then the woman, the faceless uh, woman that said, she was sexually assaulted in in, in, in Diddy's studio or whatever, which now she has to reveal herself by judge, uh, by court order or whatever. So now Sloan has predicted that Jay-Z will be going down within the next three years. Um, she said that, you know, that, that Jay-Z is not like next up, but it's like someone before Jay-Z that's supposed to be, um, that's going to be taken down. She mentioned MC Hammer, which that's kind of weird because MC Hammer ain't really been doing nothing in a minute. And then she said Chris Brown, which we know Chris Brown been in the media for a lot of things. And they've been trying to take Chris Brown down ever since the Rihanna situation. So she's basically saying Jay-Z is up next. Now, where Beyonce falls in line with that, I don't know because she somehow you know she's still tied to jay-z so i don't know how that's supposed to fit with jay-z going down and then beyonce still being on top or i don't even know how that would even work with if jay-z go down it seems like beyonce to be going down with him unless she unless she do like a you know a switcher rule and you know and turn against him and start saying you know bringing out accusations and allegations against him or whatever so i i don't know so let's go over this sloan video the psychic um that's saying jay-z is next next to you know to get taken down so let's get into this the next three years so we are in 2024 this is whatever month this is this is march at <laughs> the beginning of 2024 so we are headed for the next three years 25 26 and 27 with the beginning initial stages of the knockdown when it comes to jay-z he is not next in line. He is second to next in line. I get a real, real kind of focus between him, Chris Brown, and MC Hammer. Okay. The MC Hammer thing, I don't know where that came from because it's like, you know, really ever been seeing MC Hammer doing nothing lately. So I, I mean, this is her psychic mindset, so let's continue. Okay, so they're kind of all coming around and they're all linked. We know P. Diddy's going down. So, and that was said by his ex-wife and that video I did last June. But Jay-Z is a different story because he's still attached to a hierarchy which encompasses financial, political, and just basically public. 
And that's the thing we've been saying that on this channel. We already know they propping Jay-Z up to be some type of political figure. Now, there's going to be a crossroads that he's going to have to bear where it's a decision Jay-Z's going to have to make to even to level up to that politician um, status. We know that is a door he's going to have to walk through. And basically, if, if he don't, you know, walk through that door and decides not to, everything is going to be taken away from him. We know that. That's how it works. Um, we know Jay-Z was propped up to be a political figure by when they took the uh the library and wrote his scriptures all over the uh the biggest library in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? And turned the whole Brook uh Brooklyn library into a Jay-Z art exhibit, history exhibit or whatever. So yeah, we know they propping him up to be some type of political figure. Um so let's let's continue to see what Sloan talk about. Let's get it. So he's not absolutely going to be taken down yet. The next three years, yes, there are steps where if he doesn't fall into line, he is going to be shaken up. Now, what I do see, I do see three years from now, him, his wife and his kid. I don't know if there's more than one kid. There might be more than one kid. I can't remember with everybody who has kids, but you got three kids. You got the twins and then you got uh you know, um, well, the ones by Beyonce, the twins, and then uh, Blue. But then we know he got an oldest daughter, alleged, and an alleged older son. I mean, and a, and a son. So let's get it. Anyway, him, his kid, and his wife, I see them with suitcases. And I literally see them leaving. So their residence will no longer be in the United States. This is what I'm seeing. And this happens by 2027, if not sooner, 2025 through 2027. See the next three years. Uh, it should, it might be sooner than that because California is is a lot of people is leaving California, even going back down south because it's too expensive to stay in California. A lot of people is leaving New York because you know what I mean they opened up the borders and allowed all these immigrants to come through the border, and basically the, all the resources is going to them. So yeah, I you might see Jay Z leaving the and his family leaving the country and moving to. Maybe, you know, South America, because places like Costa Rica and places like that are good um, to live in, in South America. The people are, the people there are, you know, very welcome, well, welcoming and, and, you know, nice people. And, or there might be some other places like in South America that's also um, good to live in. So, I mean, we starting to see people pick up and migrate. To different areas since they opened the borders up and let all these immigrants in and we know all the resources are going to them um but yeah i i don't know what y'all think about this with sloan's uh you know prediction whatever of them taking jay-z down i know a lot of y'all you know when we do these jay-z videos a lot of y'all in the comment section be like damn when they gonna take jay-z and his and his wife down um I, I'm not for that unless unless there's some allegations and stuff that come out about this man. I'm talking about like witnesses and you know and things that you know the same thing that you know that happened with Diddy, same situation. So until then, um, you know we'll be sitting, you know, waiting to see what's going on with this situation. We know that uh things have been coming out a little bit about Jay Z uh. I remember, you know, when Dane mentioned that on Nick Cannon's uh, show, when that interview, when they was talking about Foxy Brown, you know, a lot of people talk about that situation as well. Then, um, you know, you know, D. Haven been speaking of, about things uh, with Jay as far as like the things he been, you know, dealing with with Jay, the things he dealt with with Jay Z, and I don't nothing incrimin incriminating there, but nowadays the media. Is being used to destroy these people by you know uh social media at that because now the court of public opinion seems to matter more than the damn courtroom does so i i don't know man let me know in the comment section what y'all think you know and what, what y'all think of this situation man um i don't know man y'all think jay-z's up next make sure you like this video comment below also, make sure y'all come over here and support nightanddaynetmarket.com, man. Support a black-owned business. Um, we got 25% off still on the CBD. 
the CBD smokes, the gummies, the pre rolls, the pain bombs, the vapes, the, the cook, the edibles. Yeah, you know I'm saying if you're looking for some great skincare products naturally, you can come over and get the soaps and body oils that we sell. Um, you can buy the set, the soaps with the um, you know, the body oils, African gold, Egyptian amber. You know what I'm saying? We got all types of different variety of soaps. Also, you can read the reviews, you know, and see um how the soap is helping people. Um, we also have the zeolite. The zeolite, if you're looking for a great detox. Make sure you come over and get the D, uh the Zetox, man. Um, if you read the reviews, you can see how it's been helping people. And already we almost sold out the first case already. Um, and shit, it almost in one day. So people are buying it, and a lot of y'all are returning customers because y'all know it works, and we appreciate all the love and support y'all guys been showing us. If you would like to donate to this channel as well. Cause you know we don't we can't rely on the monetization 100 because youtube takes our money you know at the end of the month they you know they got some things in the guidelines where they're trying to take you know money from the creator so we can't depend on that 100 so if you like to donate to this channel the this uh the cash app is flowing across the bottom of the screen and also if you want some great products or whatever make sure you hit up night and day netmarket.com the links to the will be in the description of this video. And this your boy JR, man. And I'm up out of here. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Now, I mean, this video was sponsored by Zetox. Zeolite. Zeolite is one of the most amazing minerals of our age. Millions of people have been using detoxification supplements to remove harmful toxins, pollutants, heavy toxic metals, as well as to balance pH levels, lower the risk of viruses like cold and flu, support the immune system, and improve nutrient absorption. What is zeolite? Zeolite is a volcanic ash that forms over time when ash and lava react with alkalized water, resulting in a compound with a very strong cage-like structure and a negative charge. Zeolite is one of the most fascinating and powerful nature remedies available. Great to detox and balance your body. Health Benefits of Detoxing the removal of excess heavy metals can improve overall health. Detoxification helps balance a body's pH levels. This product provides 30 capsules, one month supply, ships within three days. Purchase now at night and daynetmarket.com.